Hi guys! I drank a Kool-Aid. Did you? Hi guys! It's Abby from Bellstitch.com. Welcome back! So, fess up! Who's chugging the Kool-Aid? I am! And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about this insanity. It's the latest from Long Dog. It is appropriately called Death by Cross Stitch. And yes, you are reading that right. 363 by 447. Mostly filled. I mean, it's not quite hate level of insanity, but... Yeah. That's... That's... That's pretty nuts. And, um... I'm stitching mine on 40 count flax using my stash of Old Maid of the Heart which is not showing up well right. the stitch piece looks better it's Old Maid of the Heart by Hand Eyed Fibers no you cannot get it anymore unless you find someone who is de-stashing unfortunately so I've got that much done. Um, so watch out for the chart. Um, there's an error. This project is so special I broke out my new Sullivans. So, okay. So on the chart, this part is correct. But this part is not correct. So you just gotta... There's a pattern. There's a rhythm to it. So... Um, I spotted it because I was counting the dots, you know, the center, the center stitch. That's what I was counting to keep track of where I was. And the second lower dot is charted incorrectly. But if you follow the other dots, you'll be fine. And it also appears on the bottom here, on the left border, um, right where the design starts going diagonal. So there's another um, error, but like I said, if you follow the dots, you'll be fine. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. And you guys know I've been drinking the Long Dog Kool-Aid for quite a while now. Um, so let me show you. Let's do a Long Dog past project slash current whip revisited. So my first long dog project was this, um, a token of love. I stitched this in 2003. Uh, this is done on DMC. This is very disgusting. Uh, DMC, I forget. On light gray Jobelin. It was such a fun stitch. So I don't do initials because my name is only three letters and my husband's name is only three letters. So I do, I just write my name and I write his name. And there's that. Um, yeah, this was a fun stitch. Uh, this didn't take long at all, I don't think. I just, I love monochromes. I love them. There's something very soothing about them. It's a very process, process project. It's not, I mean, the end result is also great, but it's more of a process. I need to relax. Let me f stitch on a color that I love and do that. So, this one's really cute. I love the bee. 
You see the bee? So cute. And the hearts. And look at that. Oh, I ended up with three children. When did I make this? I stitched this March. No. Yeah, 2003. That was long before children were in the picture. But there you go. Three hearts. Our names. I love that. I love this flower. I love the birds. I love the elephants. Super, super cute. So that was my first ever long dog. And then... I did... Rose Marquis, also on the light gray Jobelin, but with um, but with oh god, words with hand dyed fiber indigo ocean. So, actually, this is wrong. This wasn't my next one. My next one was Paradigm Lost. Because originally I stitched Paradigm Lost with this color, Indigo Ocean. And it did not look right. I mean, I got a lot done. I'll post a picture of what I had done. And I didn't like it. I ripped it out. Yeah, that's how much I didn't like it. It looked, it didn't look right. It did not look right. So I stitched, I frogged all of it. And I restitched it with Purple Purple. Which eventually got renamed Old Maid of the Aubergine. So it's gigantic. And I, have, it, I haven't framed it at all. And it took forever. I stitched it on and off. I replaced the bunny that was here. Because I wanted to. And Buma helped me finish this. She gave me f premium floss so I could finish this motif over here because I ran out. So I used a mix of premium and regular silk with this. And I used, this is 35 count HDF linen. So I've, seen, I've shown this before, but yeah. I will... Click the description box below. There will be a link to the album for this. So that was my second long dog start. So originally on, originally stitched with the Indigo Ocean. I didn't like it. And then I started Rose Marquee with Indigo Ocean. And just magically, this was the right color for this project. So I did find a project for that silk. I have two spools of it, so that should be plenty. I like this color a lot, too. It's very soothing. It just wasn't right for the first project, so. But it's perfect for this. So that's about, that's a quarter done. And then I did, oh, I forget what this thing is called. Kigale. I love the gigantic spider. Or whatever that is. It looks like a spider. Is that a spider? It looks like a spider. I don't know what it is. I call it a spider. Could very well be something else. I think it's a spider. It's cute. So I did this on DMC, uh, also using HDF linen. That's all I have done on it. The colors in this are really, really nice. I should, that'll, I'll spend time on that eventually again. And then, uh, last year, last year's craze do different is it just do different no yeah yeah 
So <laughs> I'm using Belsoa for the gray and then um, HDF for the reds. It's Bud Iris Bud and Bloom Exemplar. So it's super nice. And I love the gray, I have to say. I need to stitch more gray. So I know I said I was gonna stitch a Nightmare by Courtney Collection with just black DMC, but dark charcoal gray. So also nice though. We'll see. This is on flax linen. Same linen as the latest craze. So this is flax and HDF. It's so nice. I love working on this. So um, this is Jules' version. I'll show you. And um, I talked to Jules, Julia. Um, she said that she started this in November and was done in January or February. She did it quick. I mean, I have to sleep and eat, but holy moly, I don't, I'm not going to finish this in three months. Three months! That's like Buma level of stitching. Holy moly, smoking needles. So yeah, that's the Kool-Aid. This is the Kool-Aid post. What color are you stitching it on? And yes, you are going to stitch on it. And email Julia. I have her link below. Email her. Pay for it. Get the pattern. PDF. Or have your LNS order it for you if you don't want to print out your own chart. And if you're looking for a sale, Stitching Bits and Bobs has it for 25% off. Buy the chart, buy your fabric, buy your floss. You know, stash does not travel alone. Buy new Q snaps, you know. I don't know who else is having a sale, but I know Bobby is having a sale, so go buy it. You know you want to. Just just stop fighting it. Don't fight the universe and go drink the Kool-Aid. Alright? So next part. I know I know I said I was gonna have two special guests, but that's not happening, so we'll do the Hello Kitty episode now as well. Okay, so, Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty. I am an Asian girl who grew up in Asia. I love Hello Kitty. So I did not have a lot of Hello Kitty growing up. I remember having a wallet. It was a pink Sanrio Hello Kitty wallet. A cheapy wallet that fell apart, but I tried to save it with just trying to scotch tape the seams because I didn't want to throw it out because that's the only one I had I didn't want to throw it out but um now I'm buying my childhood and friends and family have been <laughs> helping me buy my childhood so I love Hello Kitty I love my melody my melody is so underrated this poor thing she's so cute I love oh Little twin stars. Remember them? Oh, so cute. So cute. One of my friends loved Carol, Carol, Carol P. Um, but I like My Melody and Hello Kitty. So, um, the oldest thing I have here is proper vintage Hello Kitty. Like proper. Proper from Japan and old and in perfect condition. I'm so happy to have this. You have no idea. Okay, so it's a little purse. And it's Sanrio for Japan Airlines. Alright. 
There's Hello Kitty riding Japan Airlines with the JAL logo. Is JAL even around? I don't think they're around anymore. Are they Anna now? All nip, all, yeah, Anna? Are they Anna now? Or is it that a different company? Anyway, I'll tell you the story behind this. Um, so I lived in the Philippines. But when I was nine, in 1986, we got to travel to America. Ooh. And we flew Japan Airlines. Now at that time, Japan Airlines gave out swag. They gave out a lot of swag. Um, I remember we had like playing cards and like tote bags, stuff like that. So for kids, kids got, well, girl kids got this oh yes so girls got a purse and it's, it's Pepto-Bismol pink it's not that light it's like really really pink okay so it's not the colors off anyway so the girls girls got a purse and probably something else I don't remember girls got a purse and the boys got a little Japan Airline like matchbox type airplane model so I got this and as you can see it's perfectly clean looks unused why because it is unused my mom the ever forever hoarder kept this since 1986 kept this sealed in a baggie and only gave it to me only gave it to me when she came to visit after my first daughter was born so this was in her possession from 1986 to 2007 this was in a bag hidden in a closet somewhere away from sunlight and it's in perfect condition so um, I'm not gonna do that I want to see it so I think I'm just gonna hang it or something I'll find out I'll find a way to hang it so that is the oldest thing in my Hell Kitty stash I love it and everything else, um, most of this are gifts. Um, gifts from my husband and my in-laws. And some friends. So, um, the radio, it's like a radio CD player thing that's from my father-in-law. The lamp, the big lamp is also from my father-in-law. Um, my mother-in-law gave me an Easter basket that's just a Hello Kitty face that my girls have claimed it's mine. <laughs> but, um, uh, and Choco Cat I got at, like, 18 more. Um, I can't remember where I got this, but it's a candy dispenser. And yes, the candy is still there. Uneaten. I don't know how old this is, but we're not gonna eat the candy. Oh yeah, so my four-year-old got in here one time. They're not allowed in my room. They're not allowed in, yeah, they're not allowed in my room. But she got in here and she opened, she opened one of my Hello Kitty candies. And she's like, mommy, this candy's gross. Like, yeah, because that's older than your sister. And she's nine. So, yeah, she ate nasty candy. So now they know not to touch anything in my room. But, um, oh, I have this too. It's not Hell Kitty, but it's Totoro. So, Japan, everything. That's so cute. Okay, these are still glare. I can't get rid of the glare. But, um, it's a music box. I think I got this from Mother's Day one year. And the little 
soot sprites. Bounce. Apparently I can't say soot to save my life. Soot, 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 soot. S-O-O-T, how do you say it? Soot, soot, soot. The dust bunnies move and his umbrella moves. And it plays a song. It's awesome. And I have this. I forget where he's from. Domo. He's cute. And Hello Kitty. I think my husband got this for me. <laughs> yeah, KB Toys. He still has the tag. Oh, so cute. Sit. Stay. She's not gonna stay. Oh, Hello Kitty's drunk. And then, um, another thing here from my mother-in-law. Oh, it's not even gonna drop everything. Ta-da! Yes, it's sealed. Yes, the Pez is still there. No, I am not gonna open it. No, I'm not opening it. Look at that! Look at my Melody. She's so cute. Super, super cute. Yeah, no, I'm not... I'm not opening it. Oh, wait! It says there's a bonus candy bracelet. I can't see it. I'm still not opening it. So, I mean, I should fix this so I can raise... Like, do tears or something. So that's cute. I love that. Uh, this one... I don't know. I'm sure it's from my husband. This one we got at, um... Oh god, what's that annoying place? Ugh, build the Bear Workshop. This was the most annoying Hell Kitty purchase ever. Because they make you do the kissing and the wishing crap. No, just give me my damn Hell Kitty. Crazy lady. Anyway, so it's Hell Kitty in full Hell Kitty gear. Yes, I have Hell Kitty pajamas. Thank you, mother-in-law. I love my Hell Kitty pajamas. Um, yeah. Do I have... I want to say I have the Hello Kitty shoes. I don't know. Do I? I'm not sure. I think I do. I'm not sure. My daughter does. I mean, yeah, they're too small for me to steal. <laughs> but yeah. Hello Kitty jammies. Hello Kitty. And the little puppy tail. And what else is here? I have a little light. Oh, I did open this. Push top of light down to turn on or off. Uses two AA batteries. Oh, that's kind of lame. No wonder I never opened it. It should come out of the box. Alright, I'm fine with this coming out of the box. Although now it won't fit on that little wedge in the corner. Yeah, there's no battery. But, yep. Yeah. Little lamp. And, oh, I have this. Pez. Hello Kitty Pez. And this drawer thing, I think I got a Target. I think I got that at Target. It has some stitchy things in there, random things. Oh, I forgot I had these. Where did I buy these? I don't remember. Look, little tags. It says made with love. If you like to give out your stitchy things. Um, so yeah, it just has random things. I should sort these one day. Um, oh, there's my Hell Kitty stapler. And, oh, oh yeah, notepad. 
See, this is the new stuff with the flower. The old stuff has the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Neat. Right. Um, I have this. This one is from Japan. For sale in Japan only. I can't remember if my mom or my cousin Agnes gave me this. But it had cookies inside. And yeah, we ate the cookies. Um, I don't know what that means. Who reads? Who can read that? What does that say? But yeah. We ate the cookies. I kept the tin. Because she bought it for the tin. For me. I love that. And I have these also from Japan. I think my mom gave me these. Um, they're just cute little dolls. Super, super cute. They sit there, they guard my nail polish. <laughs> oh. And more gum. Sour cherry. Sealed. Still sealed. Because I'm not... I think... Ha! Okay. I got this when we still lived in Buffalo. And we went to Niagara Falls. I bought this then. 2004. And where is it made? Well, made in China. Distributed by Boston America Corporation in Woburn, Massachusetts. That's not too far from where I am now. So this Hello Kitty candy has come home. <laughs> from Canada. Alright. And I have a mug. Eight ounce mug. I should really I mean the plastic is getting gross. So cute. A little mug. Alright. Oh, you can't go there. Alright. So I love little tchotchkes. I love Toki Doki also. Um my stitchy bag. It's Hello Kitty by Toki Doki. Um, and it's a Toki Doki doll. Oh, look. It's a nightlight. I was, I was making fun of it. I said I'd cut it off and turn it into a needle minder. World's biggest needle minder. So why not, right? What do you think? <laughs> it's smaller than my hand. It weighs a ton. Probably ruin my fabric. But there's that. And I have stickers and other touch keys. I have a cell phone charm. I had a different one, like with a Japanese slipper and a Hell Kitty. But, um, I have this other new one too, so I never used it. I should figure out how to attach that to my current phone. And... So what kind of tchotchkes do you have? Do you collect other stuff? I collect random things. I like my I like stuff. Alright, oh my friend Adele gave me this. Thanks Adele! Oh and there's a bag too. Where is that bag? Alright, the bag will have to make an appearance in a different video, but Ta-da! It's a 3D puzzle. And she sits on this thing. And that's her. Super, super cute. And uh, sticker packages. I do share my stickers with my children. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. So, <laughs> this has candy in it. And it's supposed to rattle. 
and it's not rattling anymore. For sale in Japan only. Don't know where I got this. Does this mean it expired in 2006? <laughs> oh lord. It's still sealed. We're not opening it. Nope. Um, oh. I'm rediscovering some of these things because I had not unpacked some of them since we moved, like, in 2010. Don't judge. Playing cards. Sealed. Yep. Mm. Same. Uh, oh, and another tin. This one, I think, is from AC Moore or Target or something. Uh, oh, filled with stuff. A wallet. Haha. <laughs> Oh, my wallet right now is Hello Kitty. It, um, I don't have it here, but it matches my purse. Um, oh, all right, crafty people. So this is not a leather purse, but I love it. But, um, having problems with the handle. Um, so how can I fix that? Like, I know there's no fixing it. It's handles done but can I buy is there like a nice replacement strap that I could buy I like for it to be the same shape because I really like this purse um, so what can I do for buying a handle should I just go to Etsy find a leather worker who can make a handle for me or do something else I don't know. Help. That's my purse. That I can't use right now because I know it's broken. So sad. So, wallet, little Velcro thing, and pockets, and more stickers, and stationery, and stamps, and all that stuff. Um, also, what else do I have? Oh, <laughs> still in the packaging. Alarm clock, Earb earbuds. It's like actually a little radio with preset stations. So there's that. And oh, another Totoro. Super, super cute. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Well, in my immediate vicinity, anyway. Alright, so that's all I have for now. Don't forget, pick up your Kool-Aid. Uh, click on the description below. Email Jules. Get your fabric ready. Get your floss ready. It only takes three months to finish. If you don't sleep or eat. Or work. So yeah, I will see you next time. Bye!